What's going on guys, Saber here, and today we're back at it again with another Evil Dead the Game video. But this time we're actually going to be following up from another video I made earlier, which is the devs update and what they're going to include in this said update. Um, but before we get right into it, I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, liked my videos, or disliked my videos. Comment down below every single time, and uh, I enjoyed having a more thoughtful conversation with some of you guys. Um... Thank you for all the support that you give because it really helps the channel a lot and I want to get to the point where I create more better content for you guys which I'm working on right now a video that uh, I really 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 want to get out there but I'm not sure how long it'll take uh, it'll have a lot of edits a lot of stuff um, so we'll be on the lookout for that video when it comes out hopefully it'll be funny hopefully it'll be great I don't know but for the most part I want to get to that level of editing soon and I want to do more of that level of editing but for now I'm just going to be posting most of our matches um, because it'll help as well some people to understand how we play and how they can learn from these plays that we make. Now let's begin without further ado let's start with Cars. Cars has been one of the few things that needed to get changed but I don't know the changes that it really needed so the things that they're going to do is one they're going to reduce the amount of cars that are present in each of these maps and two it takes damage over time when it's close to book this will deter uh, book blocking and also uh, it'll be not there won't be too much cars to book block anyways so let me explain why the first one is a bit of a problem not the second one the the the, the damage over time is all right i guess but it was a i think there was a better method to use for that but uh let me explain a little bit first before i get to it why uh, the reducing the amount of cars is going to be an issue for survivors and that's because demons will possess the last few bits of cars and it'll be flipped and it'll be There'll be no cars in present for the survivors. They're just going to have to run it throughout the entire match. And it sucks because we've already done several matches yesterday just running it through. And, and matches were stretching out a little longer than it should have. Um, and I feel like that's where we're just going to have to start doing. Unless they incorporate some mechanics to deter car flipping. So one of the ideas that I thought of was if they car flip, it'll count as destroying the car, which it does, I believe, because I've seen some car gets destroyed instantly once it gets car flipped. Um, but two, once it despawns, it has a 30 second timer where it will respawn in the said location that it was taken from. Um, I think that'll deter car flipping and it'll also make it so that demons have to be more um i guess you ha they will have to be more uh time like they will have to have a perfect timing for when the survivors reach that said area that they flip the car immediately and now they don't have that car for the next 30 seconds but i mean that's gonna like not really help because they'll still end up getting that car now this will be another I guess this will go to another idea that I have, which is the barrier. Now, the barrier is something that I feel like should be incorporated for Dark Ones because it'll ensure that no vehicles go inside of Dark Ones. Like, there's this big barrier, right? Um, that, that once you reach that barrier, that all the survivors would have to go on foot. This will make it so that, obviously, car flipping, or not car flipping, car blocking is not possible anymore at all um they don't even have to worry about any single car going inside that barrier and it's a fair gain from there but before they implement that they also have to implement another thing which is the transition between dark ones to book phase which is when dark ones gets destroyed no one and i mean not even survivors or dark or demons can I interact with the book um, and I think that there's another idea that I just had, which is when Dark Ones um, goes into book phase, that they have to activate book. And once the book is activated, that's when they, the timer ticks. 
Um, I feel like that's a better idea because it's a it's kind of like a stalemate, right? But it mostly ensures that the survivors have a more small little advantage over the demons so that that way when they activate the book the demon is also ready for whatever for like all the spawns that they have and the energies that they have obviously within that barrier they'll be they'll they'll have their energy um increase more and more but i mean even if with that advantage that survivors have demons are more susceptible to still be able to destroy book um i think that's a good idea in my opinion i don't know if it, if people will agree or disagree with it but Again, if not, then definitely they need to touch the, 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 the transition between Dark Ones to Book Phase. Um, or just increase the health percentage on Book by a set amount. Every time when Dark Ones goes into Book Phase, uh, there's always the issue that the demons spawn something really quick and they just start hammering on the Book as survivors can't do anything about that said demon that's inside hitting the Book for free. Um, it's kind of sucks, especially since that's why we adopted this new strategy called the 99 strat. Um, we 99 book phase, they spawn something or we bait them to spawn something, but we all do an X, um, and we start, uh, finishing up dark ones once we do a sweep and then we create the X formation and then we start book phase immediately once... We know it's clear. It's a good way to also pretty much see what the demon's next move is. Um, usually, we always bait their boss. We always bait their elites. But I know some people say it's cheesy. But what's more cheesy is when they are able to freely hit the book. And we can't do anything about it. And they win games because of that free hit on book. So I think that's a change that they got to do. Especially since demons are going to get a buff anyway. So... We'll see what they will do. Um, hopefully it's a healthy change and not an unhealthy change. Um, but uh, we'll see. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the exploit. And I'm glad that they're fixing the exploit because uh, we didn't even know this existed. But And I don't want to explain how this works. I don't even know how if it works the way I think it works. But basically people are able to use shems but not consume the amount that they have. So like, let's say if they have one Shemp, right? If they successfully do this exploit, um, it'll be so that that, set, that one Shemp is not consumed if done correctly. The same can be said for amulets. Now, it only works for amulets and Shemps um, and not, uh, not ammo because ammo is instantly used, but there's an animation for amulets and Shemps. Now, I think that these have to be removed immediately again i don't want to explain how it works because i think i know how it works but i'm not sure I, even if if i have knowledge on how it works i still do not want to share it because this needs to get removed and this, this is killing the game more and more these exploits needs to get destroyed like they need to play test they need to do something because every patch is always something dumb every single patch is always something new that p either either or keeps taking advantage of and it sucks that they don't have a way to play test. Um, because I would be happy to play test for them. I would play the, the, the game for like a whole entire day to see every single bits of exploit that there is and then try to say, hey, you know, you got this issue, you got that issue, you got this issue, you got that issue. But um unfortunately, they only do the patches. I'm pretty sure they only uh play test like few few minutes few hours i don't know and then they just launch that patch immediately but it's up to us to be pretty much be on point with these exploits send them the the the, the report tell them that hey this is there's an exploit on next this one this and that um report cheaters report everything just report it to them hopefully they'll address it and we can have a more healthier balance in game. Now, lastly, I want to hope that um, this gets uh, <laughs> this gets addressed more, which is the anti-cheat because I've seen far too many innocent uh, players get reported for no reason at all. They get 
uh, accused of cheating even though they didn't cheat and then when the actual cheaters comes out they don't get accused and it's just like whoa whoa you know a cheater when you see one obviously like it's it's obvious too but um for the people who don't cheat at all like how are they they cheating i don't know like they, they it's just because sometimes when some people's egos are too high and they think that they should win every game and then, then the first time they ever lose they've never seen defeat before and then they die oh they cheated that's the only way they they, they, they they've won they cheated i'm like really do it happens I, I i and and yeah i'm still salty about that that one person accusing us of cheating because again we don't cheat and i'm gonna say this one last time and then you'll never hear it from me again we do not cheat we don't need to cheat and we will never cheat so hopefully their anti-cheat will be reinforced it'll be stronger and they will implement more anti-cheats to this game because i don't want to see this game die this game has so much potential actually before i say last um the last the last thing this is going to be the last thing which is my hopes for this game i hope that they do take advantage of crossovers so for instance lollipop chainsaw needs to happen the housing needs to happen all these great games needs to happen why because if they implement these crossovers into this game it'll help their game so much basically lollipop chainsaw should definitely be on their minds right now because of, think about it for a second it, they just announced the the remake for this game and for weird reasons like licensing they couldn't license the music that's the only reason why they're doing it but i'm just saying they should definitely take advantage of it it'll help their game it'll help this game so much and i can see freaking um uh fuck, I, I don't remember julia it'll help their game in, in characters like julia would be a warrior it'll be a fun thing for a lot of people to pick her as the warrior definitely be fun to see her in the game definitely be fun to see Val Helsing um obviously they of course they gotta add the other characters like like Rose or whatever that other person name is Chet and other characters as well but definitely definitely take advantage of these crossovers because it will help their game substantially it'll be fun it'll be great it'll be it'll be amazing people will jump in to this game more because they see lollipop chainsaw into this game they'll see Val housing into this game they'll see maybe i'll just say duke nukem just because i don't know it, 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 I, i'd say duke nukem is a good ad just because he's funny has he's, he has some funny jokes as well just like uh ash and it'll be funny to see some interaction between the two but um we'll see what happens with that um let me know what you guys think uh, if you do agree with those crossovers, if you agree with anything I said, yeah, honestly, like it'll definitely, uh, uh, definitely be a very interesting talk because I feel like, yeah, um, I'm with the idea of buffing demons. They need a little bit of something, but uh, not too much because you don't want to make it so that the, the 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 scale starts tipping over more and more and then it becomes very very difficult to play even for solo queue players who are already suffering through all these defeats because of the play style because of the the, the choices that they make and all that stuff you know because again at the end of the day this is a four player game versus one this is definitely an uh, for, uh like a team oriented game which is why they have comms, which is why they should also, in my thought, they should definitely add a text comp, uh, text comm as well. So ensure that people can, can talk to each other via chat through, through, you know, like a text wise and, and, and they can interact there. Um, but for the most part, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Comment down below if you like or dislike of, as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Saber clocking out.